Kate Middleton made concerned gesture to Queen Camilla in front of the world at major royal event. The royal family has been going through a tough time lately. King Charles had to step back from his royal duties due to his cancer diagnosis, and Princess Kate is slowly making her way back into the public eye undergoing abdominal surgery in January and announcing she was undergoing preventative chemotherapy. Despite these trying times, the royals are sticking together behind closed doors. It's well known that the family shares a close bond, with Kate Middleton having a particularly special relationship with her in-laws, King Charles and Queen Camilla. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. Even while recovering, Kate will be keeping in touch with the couple during Charles' treatment, ready to lend a hand to Camilla, who has taken on more responsibilities in her husband's stead. The bond between the two royal women was especially noticeable following the passing of Queen Elizabeth II. Just nine weeks after her death, Camilla and Kate were seen standing side by side on the balcony of the Foreign Office, overlooking the cenotaph where King Charles and Prince William laid wreaths in honor of Remembrance Sunday in 2022. There was a poignant empty space on the balcony, a spot once occupied by the late Queen. It was clearly a nerve-wracking moment for Camilla, as it was one of her first major appearances, since Charles became King. But she wasn't alone, her daughter-in-law Kate was there to support her. Body language expert Judy James provided fascinating insight to the mirror at the time, explaining how Camilla showed a blend of regal duty and anxiety during a recent public appearance. Watching from the balcony Camilla combined signals of regal duty with some rituals of anxiety. Standing beside Kate, she performed a subtle smile of acknowledgement as her wreath was laid and as she turned to Kate on their way from the balcony she threw a rather fond smile as Kate spoke to her, she said. Camilla smiled at Kate for a second time before nodding, again in a gesture of acknowledgement, as she walked ahead of Kate in her new role of queen. Otherwise though there were gestures of open anxiety from Camilla. She looked unable to keep totally still and spoke to Kate at one point but while looking straight ahead rather than turning to her. Kate turned her head quickly in a gesture of polite concern. Kate's calm and very still body language was in contrast to Camilla's nervous movements that showed the most in the fluttering of her hymn sheet as her two hands fiddled with it throughout. Judy didn't miss noticing Charles' body language either, pointing out the small actions betraying his effort to control emotions, Charles stood at the cenotaph as though totally alone and lost in his thoughts. His mouth was pulled down at the corners and his rapid blinking hinted he was close to tears as he remembered his mother as well as those fallen in action. There was even a micro-gesture of a small spasm of the lips to show suppressed emotions as they played the last post, the body language expert concluded. Kate Middleton has only made a handful of public appearances in 2024 as she undergoes preventative chemotherapy, and it looks like she could keep a lighter schedule until she's queen. We'll get into details in just a second, but the good news is that Kate's health is improving. Kate has been exceptionally open and honest about her health, a friend of the Prince and Princess of Wales tells the Daily Beast. Making two appearances before the summer break, at Wimbledon and Trooping the Colour, was a clear signal that she is doing well. That is what we are hearing privately as well, it's not over but there is lots of optimism, lots of positivity. It is obviously still an incredibly worrying time but all the signs are that her cancer treatment, which is ongoing, is progressing well. All that said, a Buckingham Palace source says my understanding is that people are going to have to get used to seeing a lot less of Kate. The priority for her now is going to be family, and the children. The youngest of those kids, Louis, is only six. Like a lot of people who have a brush with mortality, Kate is going to prioritize the things that matter to her from now on. In her case, that means her kids, 